All right. A little bit early here. That's fine. Uh, yeah, it's about 10 minutes earlier than I announced it, so eh. I'll just hang out for a little bit. Hey, Jody, how you doing? Good morning. I guess good morning. It's uh, almost midnight here, but but uh, pretty good. Got me some restocked on some Mario gummies, so that's always good. This is what the package of these looks like. Let's see. I assume it's not nothing for you. Not morning. Yes, it is not morning. Hey, Jason. How am I doing today? Oh, let's see. Um, I'm good now. It's kind of a rough day. Kind of a rough week. Kind of a rough month to be to be to be quite honest. Uh, you know, uh, I never know what's going to happen from day to day here. Um, we we're in the middle of a coronavirus madness. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to buy toilet paper, stuff like that, but I'm doing fine. Doing fine. I'm healthy. My kids are healthy. Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Um, yeah, it's been a rough year. It has been a rough year. We got wildfires raging in Australia, the coronavirus all over the place. I don't know. There was almost a war with Iran. That seems like so long ago now that like, that I, I I can't even believe that was this year as well, but it's it's been a crazy year. Is toilet paper uncommon in Japan? Well, it wasn't until like a few weeks ago, and now yeah yeah it's getting it's getting hard. Uh, we Japan Japan was uh, ahead of the game on this one. We've been we've been having this toilet paper crisis for about three weeks now, something like that. But no, the factories are all making toilet paper. It's just people are freaking out. They're they're panic buying. So. So there's not enough to go around because everybody needs like 10,000 rolls in their house. Schools here in Illinois were closed for the rest of the month. Yeah, here uh Wisconsin. Wisconsin is uh closing the schools as well. So Yep, schools are closed here. They've been closed for about let's See what day is it? 14th today. But a little over 2 weeks. A little over 2 weeks. Hey, Elizabeth. What a crazy year it has been indeed. Yes. But live streams help us all to stay connected. Yeah, and this might be the only way we're going to communicate for a little while. Uh, we're not supposed to we're not supposed to be around or anything. Um, it's a ghost town. It's uh it's weird. Although the used game shops are booming. Uh I mean probably not for the used games so much. Uh, but people are buying up manga and just media uh, because that's all they can do. We're not really supposed to go to parks or public areas, concerts, anything like that. So games are kind of like a natural. Addy, 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 am I saying it right? Addy, uh, what's up, everyone? This is my first time being in one of your streams live. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. My local university has switched to online courses for only for the rest of the year. Wow. Midwest gaming gaming class is canceled. Yeah, I thought I'd heard that earlier, but yeah, yeah. I plan to get new Famicom games. If only there was an online store I could order from. Jody, it's funny you should ask that question because I have an online store, which um Oh well. Hold on. What is this? Oh. It's a Casio Loopy game, because of course it is. Um I have an online store. My online store is something I will link right now because I have to be better about promoting myself. Uh, da, 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 da. At least that's what I've been told. There we go. Uh, How do I link this? This is what people come for the podcast for. Me looking around for stuff. Uh, shop online. 
web shop. Take me there now. Because you can just type www.japanretrodirect.com, but it takes you to this weird linkity page because I made a GoDaddy page a long time ago, and I am bad at internet. All right, here we go. There's the link. There, just add it to your links and bookmark it because that would be very helpful to me. <laughs> because uh, the longer the longer this thing goes on, the greater chance it's going to be that 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 uh, this uh, little store is going to go from like being my cute little hobby that I do uh, in my free time to what I need to do to survive. So <laughs> I should probably start promoting a little bit better. Am I okay? Yes, I'm okay. Uh, it's like the song. Yeah, some say a comet will fall from the sky, followed by meteor showers, tidal waves followed by fault lines that cannot sit still, followed by millions of dumbfounded dips. Yep, hits. Okay. Red cards. Rockman 2 is red. Oh, I don't have Rockman 2. I don't have Rockman 2. I need to have Rockman 2. Um. Cuneo. Oh, there might be some Cuneo tonight. That 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 is a possibility. Cuneo might happen tonight. Why are Jap why are people freaking out over toilet paper? This is an equal light. Well, obviously, the best way to prevent coronavirus is to wrap toilet paper. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you how it goes. I'll show you how it goes. So what you do, and this is how to prevent coronavirus, everyone. You take the toilet paper, okay, and then you just start wrapping. Okay. No coronavirus right here. All right. Okay, just keep wrapping. Yep. Yep. Okay, now the coronavirus can't get to you as long as you use enough toilet paper. Am I, am I, uh oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. There. It cannot get the coronavirus. At least that must be what people think, because otherwise it would be crazy that people were buying up all the toilet paper, right? Right. Uh, and we aren't crazy, are we? No, we're not. At least we say we're not crazy. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap all of this precious, precious toilet paper back on the roll. <laughs> will, the, will my website be selling toilet paper? Kind of? Actually, yes. We are selling a Kirby... Kirby, not toilet paper. Although it could be used as toilet paper. Toilet... Uh, Kirby tissue paper just went up on my site yesterday. <laughs> Vink, I, I turned my head away from my phone and see Mummy Vink. How are you? I am good. Hey, Squid Kitty. Nice to see you. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. As I said, I had a rough week, but uh, I look forward to these streams. I'm not going to complain too much because... It's nice to uh, it's nice to have some friends here, and uh, thank you all for tuning out, tuning in, tuning. Bleh. Thank you for tuning, and uh, welcome. <laughs> it's group think. You see one person buying toilet paper, buy, buying <laughs> buying toilet paper and water. And you think you do too? Yeah, it's very true. It's very true. Like I know there's no actual paper crisis because uh, some uh, some some of my friends work at a paper factory around here and there's no there's no delay and you can you can buy it but like still if I see some at the store and they're, they're like you can only buy one I'm like oh I better buy one it's so crazy you you can have like an your accurate brain but still do weird stupid things anyway how's everyone doing today let's see so uh, people who've bought things from uh, my shop before uh, know that I like to throw in some little freebies from time to time. Usually it is Mario candy. 
Uh, but I was actually having a really hard time finding this recently. Uh, I I fear it might have been discontinued. That is a that is a possibility I face. Um, but uh, I found I found two more bags at a shop I don't normally go to, and I hope it hasn't been discontinued. But if it is, this might be the the last chance. But I've also recently been throwing in. Oh, what have I been doing? I've been putting in. Japanese Pokemon cards because <laughs> because why not? So if you ordered something from me recently and you got a Snorlax, that's that's what happened. <laughs> uh, my Gulf Famicom manuals? No, those are precious. I picked the worst time to run out of toilet paper. Well, I guess any time's the worst time to run out of toilet paper. I mean, when you think about it. I got stickers as a freebie from you. Oh, yeah. I gave you the, I think I gave you the Splatoon stickers, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, if, you know, if I've got some, if I've got some stuff, some extra stuff, I, I like to, I like to, I like to surprise people. If people make a big order, sometimes I put in a, a loose game. I've got, um, I've got, uh, I don't know if you can see it, this, maybe, ah, this shelf up here, sorry, it's kind of vomiting games out right now, these are not part of it, but everything behind, behind here, those are games that are like missing manuals, or um, the manual's creased, or there's a crack in the case, or something like that. Something where I don't feel like I could really sell it. Um, sometimes I'll pack those in. I, I, there. Well, let's see. Let's let me let me pull a random stack and let's see what I got back there. So like, so like these are just kind of sitting around. Um, so. This blue dragon has a uh, kind of the part of the uh, metallic has come off here. So I, but otherwise it's, it's perfect, you know, but, but still I probably, I don't know. I feel weird listing it. I, cause I, I know, I know what's wrong with this Tekken. What's wrong with this? Oh, the manual is a little folded and, uh, There's some like damage to the UMD, but like the the it'll work fine. Like it's not scratched the internal disc, but the case is kind of scuffed up. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, this Star Ocean uh, again is fine, but the case, uh, the clasp on the case, it's not working. This Guilty Gear is kind of loose disc. I could probably fix that one. Some of these I'll, I'll fix and put up later. What's wrong with this one? Oh, it's sun damaged. See? See it uh the the, the side of the case, the Capcom is very very faded. So I wouldn't list that one. Uh this bomber what's wrong with this bomberman world? Oh, manual. Manual's got some pieces. Uh, this um Jamalami is what's wrong with this? Oh, the internal part of the manual is missing. It's only the the outer thing. There's supposed to be a little map that comes in here. So anyway, I if you if you if you make an order from me that's that's kind of heavy, and I've got some extra space, I'll put in a game like that because they still work fine. They still work fine. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, I still need to open up the package I got back in December? Really? Oh, you should open it. Is N64 region free? It isn't. It isn't. But you can get a converter fairly easily. Um, it's it's just it's the pinout. The pinout is different. Um, uh, I need to buy from you again. I've only done once. Yeah, if if you can afford it, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. I, I really don't want to like pressure anyone to buy from me right now because take care of your own first. You know, take care of your family, take care of uh, of yourself. And if you have any money left, I that would be great. It would it would really really help me out because uh, it hasn't been a lot of money coming in lately. But 
but take care of yourselves first. Uh, this is this is something we all got to get through. If you if you're able to, I am very very grateful. If you want to pick up something from my shop, but if not, don't worry about it. I just come come here, chat with me. That's enough. That's enough. Uh, those plastic tabs you need to remove from the cartridge slot. Yep. Uh, we can chat. Great. Hey, James. Welcome. Pesky manual is always disappearing. Oh, Alexa. Welcome. Welcome. Blue Dragon. I love Blue Dragon. You love Blue Dragon? Uh, make an order sometime, and uh, if there's some room in the package, I'll give you Blue Dragon. Just remind me. Remind me to give you that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mario, I play Animal Forest, Japanese Animal Crossing on May N64. Oh, yeah, I, God, what did I get recently? Oh, here. Look at this. Look at that. Uh, there's the, the Animal Crossing on game. It's not the N64 one, but it's the GameCube one with the uh, cable, and with the e-reader and the Animal Crossing cards in box. I was really happy to get that. I'll try that out later. All right. Could the virus kill the grimace? I don't know. What's our topic today? Our topic today is red cards. Hold on. Can you see those? Oh, they're kind of peeking over. It's actually deeper than that. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, red cards. We're doing red cards today. All right. Uh, what are my thoughts on the Metal Gear series? Um... Hmm. I think I own most of them, and I've never beat a single one. But I I, pre I appreciate what they are very much so. Um, but I I don't know if I ever really figured out stealth. I'm much more of not stealth. <laughs> then, um. But I see um, Metal Gear Solid is a series I've always wanted to get into, and I just haven't really. Um, but someday, someday. All right. Um, am I am I bugging out? Is my is my stream? Sorry, I think my my wife's watching some videos right now too off the internet, so it might be might be slowing things down a bit. Do I sound okay? I'll probably be placing an order on the next few days. No rush on shipping. Actually, Jody, I've been shipping really quick, usually the next day for people because I I have a lot less work lately. So I'm coming in a lot later. So uh, actually, orders have been shipping real quick lately. How's the situation in Kyushu? I mean, we don't have cases around my area really at all, but like Japan's a small country. So, I mean, okay. When I say we don't have cases around here, um, that, that doesn't mean we don't have cases around here. That just means we don't have testing kits <laughs> around here. So who knows? <laughs> I laugh, but it's actually kind of a little bit scary. I got to say, uh, my daughter was sick last week. She had a fever. She had a cough and we took her in, but like, there's no kits here. She's feeling fine now. She's, but, but it was, it was a little scary. And, uh, um, if she had it, has it, how, I, I don't know. Um, uh, stuff Vink sold me. Yes. Whoa. E plus. Wow. That's cool. Oh, how much are e-readers? Cheap. E-readers are pretty cheap. You can usually get them for loose. I don't I Actually, I haven't bought one recently, but you used to be able to find them easily for under $5 loose. Uh, if you want them in a kit with cards, then it's going to cost you because most kids lost those cards long ago. Um, but, uh, but uh, the, yeah, the, the, the hardware itself is pretty cheap. Am I getting Animal Crossing New Horizons? I don't know. I was planning to, but I don't know if I should buy many games right now. If I if I get some sales from my store and I have a little extra extra cash, yeah, yeah, I'd like I'd like to pick that one up, but but I got to make sure I don't want to dip into any of my salary, my funds, you know, that I'm getting from my job to buy games right now. We got to we got to save that. We got to save that for the kids. We got to save that, you know, 
So if I have a little leftover from the store, I'll pick it up. But if not, I got a backlog 10 miles wide, so I'll be okay. Uh, let's see. But I'd like to. Golf? Oh, no golf today. You said red. I heard golf. <laughs> Rockman 2 is on a red card. Yeah, everyone says that. I don't have a card of Rockman 2 right now. I had one once. I sold it. Because it used to be really, not common, but like you could get it for like $15. And it wasn't, you know, it, uh, the price just shot up like crazy around the time. Like, uh, I mean, they were, it was already a little expensive, but around the time Mighty Number no. 9 was announced, I don't know. Some For some reason, people just started going nuts trying to get all the Mega Man, Rock Man cards, you know. Uh, Sound is fine. You're good on my end. Good, good. You want to hear something funny? I was about to beat Ocelot on Metal Gear Solid 1, but then my PC restarted and closed the emulator as I was about to beat him. Oh, that that sucks. I was one SOCOM shot away from winning. Oh, wow. Funny funny you should say playing playing it through emulator because uh, I played through... The, the, the most of I've played of any of the Metal Gear games was the first Metal Gear Solid, and I played it on the Dreamcast using a program called Bleamcast. And uh, it looked really good. And actually, when I tried to play it later on a PlayStation, I was kind of disappointed with the graphics. All right. Uh, are the e-reader cards relatively easy to find? No, no, they aren't, actually. They aren't. Um, the, the readers are pretty easy to find, but the cards, um, you, I mean, you can find them. But, like, in general, I think, to tell you the truth, I think they might have been more popular in the States, at least for like, they had the NES retro games and stuff. Um, no, I mean, I don't come across cards very often. The reader's easy, but I mean, I know a lot of people print their own cards and stuff. So do you own Sun Sun? Uh, yes, 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 I do. That could be one of the ones we play today. It's, I think, as I said, I think it's in the stack. Uh, back here, so we'll get to we'll get to the games pretty soon. We'll get to the games pretty soon. Um, how's the weather? How's the weather? Uh, it was sunny today, but still cold. It's kind of windy. Um, let's see, uh, what is it? Celsius. So it was about eight degrees today. So I don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit right now. I read that there are no cases of coronavirus for anyone under 10 years old anywhere in the world. Really? Because I'm, I'm, I, I swear I saw a chart that showed the breakdown by age, and I, I don't think it was zero. But I don't know. Uh, I unfortunately was a backer of Mighty Number no. 9. Yes, me too. Me too. For the Wii U. Yay. Uh, now Rockman 2 is 20 to 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's getting harder to find if you do find it. Um, I sold all my Rockman carts when the classic collection came out on 3DS. Never regretted it. And I, I think that's I think that's very valid. Oh, Hobby Drifter, thank you. Thank you for staying up. I know it's late. Uh, thank you for joining me today and for your for your for your nice tweet of support. I really uh, really appreciate that. Mighty number five, biggest Kickstarter disappointment. Yeah, well, at least I I mean you, there was a full game. Gunvolt was better, but yeah. I've got Tekken 3 Bleemcast. Oh, I didn't I didn't have that one. I had the uh, I had the uh, Gran Turismo 2 and the Metal Gear one. Um, I'm using P E P S X's widescreen hack feature and it looks really nice on the widescreen. That's good. If you can't beat the Metal Gear series, there's a 14-hour movie on YouTube that has all the game's cutscenes. Just the cutscenes alone would get me through the plot. I mean, would that would that be enough? This situation is totally sick. That is right. Don't use the c word. You'll get demonetized. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. We're 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 free of viruses here because, as I mentioned earlier. We have toilet paper. Where's my toilet paper? Oh no! Ah, ha! -ha. We're fine. We are totally fine. Virus present. Virus preventing toilet paper. Oh, I should give myself at least a, like a Metal Gear headband with the toilet paper. 
this does not look like a Metal Gear headband. This looks like a head injury. Looks like a, what an old man at a drinking party in Japan will wear. All right. There we go. All right. We're ready now. Okay. There's one case of middle school in my area with COVID-19. Thing is, Mighty Number no. Nine isn't truly awful. Oh, sorry, James. That's terrible. Hmm. I. But luckily, the I, you know the younger people, uh, people that age, they're probably going to do okay. Like it's 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 older folks who are really really um. <sighs> really uh, in the danger zone. Mighty number nine. Mighty number nine isn't truly awful. It's certainly not as good as Mega Man, but people act like it's unplayable. No, it's it's fine. It's just it's it's that it's fine. It was it was sold as something better than fine, but yeah, it's fine. All right, stream saved. Okay, YouTube censorship is fast. Folks shopping like cornholio needing TP for their bunghole. You know, I should read things in my head before I read them out loud. Beavis and Butthead reference. All right. I don't understand why people are buying TP. It's a respiratory virus. Well, if you if you stick giant water... Here, here, I'll show you. I'll show you how you prevent, prevent respiratory viruses. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that was a mistake. Ugh. Oh, not great toilet paper. Mm. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is the antivirus song. Excellent. Oh, I'm just preventing from the coronavirus because, I mean, if everyone's buying toilet paper like it was going out of style, Obviously, it must prevent the coronavirus. So what we've got to do is we've just got to wear it around our head. Although I think it would prevent the coronavirus because if I wrapped myself in toilet paper and went out shopping, everyone would stay away from me. At least a meter. Minimum. I think I think it would really help. So you see, toilet paper prevents the coronavirus. Yes. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see. Would you say they're on a highway to the danger zone? Danger zone! Uh, maybe I shouldn't have blocked that Beavis and Butthead joke that <laughs> Tyler was... No, 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 that's fine. Peak YouTube. Yup. Yuck. I am the mod here, after all. You are indeed, Satoshi. The big concern is keeping the virus from spreading quickly and overwhelming healthcare providers. Yes! Get a better tasting brand of toilet paper. I hear... I, Charmin, is good. Ah. You are a gentleman of taste. Mask is useless if you if you are healthy, but it's mandatory if you have a cold or flu. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the thing. Everybody's wearing these masks, but they're 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 not sick. I don't know. I don't know. I really hope it slows down over the week. So do I. I mean, I'm worried that school's not going to start in April. And then, uh, I mean, I am I am in education, and that could be a problem. But it'll mean that I'll do uh, Japan Retro Direct sales full-time. <laughs> Don't worry. We're all going to be fine. Once I get this headband idea spread around, we are good. All right. Just buy Norton Antivirus. Well... <laughs> That's what we should have done. All right. You want to play some games? Some games? It's red cart day. Red cart day! The red carts are coming. The red carts are coming! <laughs> Random or... Uh, I heard some people wanted Sun Sun earlier. Um, or we could just do some random stuff. Schools, schools in Boston are... Wow, people are closed everywhere. I don't know Star Kaido. I don't know Star Kaido. I might even have that. 
Oh my goodness, I actually have that. I've never played this game, but I, I recognize the title. But anyway, what should we do? Let's play something. Random or Hanano Star Kaido? And I, or I also heard a request for Sun Sun. What do you guys want to do? Do, 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 do? Red red Gulf. No, there's not going to be any Red Gulf today. I'm more familiar with the yellow card games. Never heard of it. Play it. Okay. I hope VinkCon won't be canceled. <gasps> VinkCon! It's all right. It's all right. Can't cancel VinkCon. Otherwise, we're just going to have to do a live stream of VinkCon. VinkCon will be live stream. Bomber King. Oh, Bomber King. I... Bomber King is a game that I really want to love, but I am so bad at it. So bad at it. It's like a Bomberman spinoff. I'm sure I have a copy of that somewhere around here. All right. Okay, I got one for random, two for random, two for Sun Sun. All right, we'll do Sun Sun. Let's, let's do Sun Sun. All right. And no, I'm not drunk. All right. Our first game this evening is Sun Sun. Vinku, switch on. Hold on. Let me get this junk out of here. I'll eat some of those later. All right, here we go. Oh, Donkey We can do Donkey Kong. Whoa, glitchy. Just a moment. Look at this. I got a brand new package of Q-tips. I know. This is what people pay for. Q this is what people keep subscribing to my channel for. Q-tip unboxings. There we go. Now, is this another game based on Journey to the West? Every, every game is based on Journey to the West. <laughs> okay, perhaps a bit more cleaning. Sorry. A cor yeah, corner of the Q-tip market. I should, I should, I should, I should, I should start a rumor. There's gonna be that there's gonna be shortages in Famicom carts. Maybe I'll make a couple sales. All right. Oh, why is that color coming out so bad? Hold on. It should be the letter should be pink here. No, 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 no. No, that doesn't look good at all. Hold on. One of these days I should get a capture card of some sort. Okay. Hmm. Looked better last week. Oh well, let's just start. Oh, that's terrible. Hold on, maybe if I turn the light off. Kind of makes things better. All right, let's do that. Okay. So, Sun Sun is a game 
where you... Oh, where you die. That's a game. It's a game where you die. No, it's another... There's lots of different platforms, and everything kills you. Everything. Those frogs, they kill you. These cherries, they don't kill you. They give you points. But everything else kills you. That doesn't kill you. Okay. Does this kill me? No. Oh, no. Bamboo is growing. That might actually be points, but I'm scared. I'm scared of anything. But anyway, it's just a multi... It's a real platformer because it's all platforms. It's got a lot of slowdown when there's a lot of enemies, though. That the original arcade version didn't. So, like, it speeds up once you've, like, kind of taken down a lot of the enemies. But you, can you see can you see how flickery and slow, slow it is? But as I start clearing the enemies, it gets smoother. Oh, that was a pow. Oh, no. Kind of hide up at the top. For at least a little bit. Oh. Like, it's getting really slow right now because there's tons of stuff on the screen. That looks like french fries. Because they had french fries in Journey to the West! There's a game called Sun Sun 2 on the uh, PC Engine, which is really a very nice game. Oh, it's requirement. a lot better than I usually do at video games. Hold on. The speed reminds me of Ghosts and Goblins on the on the NES. Same company ported it, actually. Uh, not Capcom. It was what was it? Microids, Microns, Mike, Mike. Some guy named Mike ported it. Same people who did 1940, uh, 1942. Ooh, a winner is me. Ah. Oh. I'm the Monkey King. Probably. But, I mean, not a bad game. It's not tech. It's not very technically proficient, but I enjoy it. Maybe because I'm not absolutely terrible at it. I mean, I'm terrible at it, but not absolutely terrible at it. It's interesting enough. But yeah, it's really... It's really choppy. I wonder if anyone's done a ROM hack to, like, increase the speed to make it a little more smooth because later games were able to handle this many enemies on the screen at once without quite as much slowdown. To tell you the truth though, the slowdown is probably why I'm still surviving in this game. Not very good at fast video games. <laughs> Down to something. 
This might be the farthest I've ever gotten in this game. Sorry I'm not responding to the comments right now, but I'm very pleased with myself. Hold on, I'll pause for a second so I can look at some of the comments. All right. Oh, I forgot I was still wearing this toilet paper. Uh, all right. It's a real platform because it has a lot of platforms. You know, Satoshi, are you keeping a log of all these things? You really should. You really should. Uh, capture card, webcam, game stream. Vink is a Twitcher. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Do you have a P.O. box we can send you gifts? I get a feeling you're going to need some sanitary wipes. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Sun Sun 2 was on the PC Engine. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Uh, cartridge cleaning. So do I have a P.O. box? Uh, no, but you can. I mean, if anybody who's made an order, they've got my address. So this doesn't look like golf. That is very true. Wipes aren't yet impossible to find here in the land of white, rising sun. Yep, that's right. Uh, any other American expats in your town? Are you the only one? There is one other American in my town. Uh, sun Sun is a game where you die. <laughs> French fries. Scrolling speed reminds me of Ghosts and Goblins. Yes, yes. Why are the Japanese freaking out of toilet paper? Don't they have water jets that shoot up their cracks? Yes, but you need something to dry afterwards, and not everyone has those. I've got one. I didn't use it for like the first five years that I was in Japan, because I'm like, eh, water, but... But now, I'm a believer. All right. Uh, Mike Wazowski. Now it looks better. Yeah, I don't know why. Yep, my chronics, that was it, which sounds like another disease. I wonder is you. What the heck is this music? Bad. Um, born from an egg on a mountaintop. Yes, congratulations. You played a great game. My chronics did a lot of contract work for Capcom the days before Capcom did their own games. Became one of the best devs for the platform. Yep. The puniest monkey that has ever popped. I'm here. Sorry about the delay. Don't worry, Colin. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. You probably increase the scrolling speed on the NT Mini because it's an FPGA and it gives you the option to remove the sprite limit. Really? That's neat. Ever played Driver 2? Slow down on that thing. It's crazy. Are you thinking of doing Kunio Kun? I'm definitely thinking about it. I'm not sure if it's in the stack or not, uh, but this might be part one of Red Card. So if we don't do it today, we'll do it next time. Uh, let's see. Let's see, the number of Westerners living in Japan went up in this chat. That's very true. That's very true. Uh, this doesn't look like golf. Time to play some Sonic Generations. Uh, lies. I don't want a wet butt. Speaking of which, Donkey Kong 3. <gasps> Donkey Kong 3! Yes! The game where you shoot... Let's say it's... I mean, it's pesticide, but let's say it's um, antibacterial spray. Up Donkey Kong's butt. I was teaching my coworker how to play Warhammer for War Warhammer 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 Forty K. Congratulations! All right, let's 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 see how far I can let's see how far I can get in this game. I'm I'm intrigued. This is probably the farthest I've ever gotten in this. Because I'm a superstar. Whoa! Not a superstar. Not a superstar after all. I got sorted. <sighs> Boo. But anyway, it's really fun with two player as well. I mean, um, it's it's sun sun. All right. So that was sun sun sun. Am I making a robot today? The other robot kind of fell over. That's its leg. That's for later. 
All right. Your hubris defeated you. Yep. 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 It's all. It's 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 me bragging about how much toilet paper I have. Oh my precious, precious Japanese toilet paper. Oh. All right. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Um, random. Random or um, what was the one? Hana no star or something, something that uh, Cheese was talking about earlier. What are we doing? Oof. Whoa. Random. Okay, random. I knew this was going to come because if you're doing red cards, this one's always going to come. This is the gulf of red cards. Uh, this is bases loaded. Uh, Moero Pro Yaku. Um, it's not a bad game. It sold a ton. It was graphically advanced when it came out, but it's probably one of the more common uh, Famicom carts in the world. And... Uh, uh, I think it's funny because whenever you go to a used game store, you're going to find a bunch of these real cheap. And, uh, yep, it's the most common baseball game ever made. And uh, some people collect it just because it is common. And uh, I, I've seen really good memes of people who had, like, a briefcase full of these. Uh, but, yeah, let's give it a try. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's it's a bad... It's a, and uh, there's a special connection because a Famicom Dojo in my town, Famicom Dojo was actually a place that was uh, contracted back in the back in the early 80s. Not early 80s. Let's see. What year was this? 87. Okay. Mid 80s. Um, to test these cartridges. Uh, the people working at Famicom Dojo would get sent boxes of these cartridges and they'd test them to see if they were working and they'd send it back. So if you if you have a copy of this game, there's a good chance that it was tested at Famicom Dojo by, like, Hero's family. Really crazy. Play ball! Play ball! Whoa! Not quite. There we go. All right, let's do this. But, like, when this game came out, I'll be bah. I mean, like, when this came out, 87, this was a very nice-looking baseball game. I remember playing this, uh, the, the Bases Loaded variant of it, at my friend's house. I wasn't very good at it then, either. But, like, compared to, like, Nintendo Baseball or whatever, this thing looked really good. Out. Oh. Oh no. That's not the best I wanted to throw it to. Ugh. Yeah, I sucked back then, too. Fastball. Oh. Hooples. No. Run faster.
Anyway, base is low. But yeah, it was nice. Fed Vink in the stands eating a hot dog. Ugh. But no, I mean, it's... And the, the, there are several sequels, and uh, they all kind of improved on the formula, and this sold this game sold fantastically. Um, and it sold so fantastically that that's why it's so common these days. Um that's why you see it all over the place because people bought this thing. They couldn't even they couldn't produce these things fast enough. Um, there was a shortage when it came out, and uh, you know this is the this is this was the hot game, and uh, the sequel sold well and everything. But but uh, Famista kind of kind of took its thunder after a while. But um, but nobody wants old baseball games, so they they sold them, you know, and then that's why it's super common. All right. But yeah, it's a really good looking game. For 87, it's got voice samples. It's got, you know, this is just this is just a, a short time after, you know, you had like Famicom Baseball, which had players that were just like, you know, just a total top, top down view. But yeah. <sighs> that pitcher had booty. Yes. And that's the other reason. That's the other reason we play this. And Lewistrations... Um, your daisy art, very nice. Um, the, the that you did for that you did for Mario Day, that was really really good. L love your style, love your style. Um, if if anybody is uh, interested in some really really good um, web comics um, and uh, fan art and things like that, um, just uh, f just the just. Type his name into Google right now, Lewistrations, or look for Apricot Cookies. Um, fantastic stuff. Everybody everybody who's watching this should... Yeah, you can just stop watching my stream right now. You can go, go read Apricot Cookies. It's really good. It's really good. But if you'd like to stay with the stream, uh, bookmark it for later, and uh, you'll, you'll thank me. You'll thank me. All right. Um, Konami Sports games were nice, too. Yes really good music in their sports games like way better than it should i mean not not saying the sports games are bad i i used to like arcadey style sports games i'm not into modern sports games but um but like tecmo bowl great game ice hockey great game all right uh nba jam great game okay i need a famicom dojo signed copy of it i will i'll yes okay I'll get Hero to sign a copy of one of these cards. They've got like 20 copies there. All right. I want old baseball. Did you know, do you know why this game has a black card variant? Oh, please tell me, because I have one. I have, I have, I have, a, I, I have one. I, I, I had heard rumor that it was due to the shortage of, of, uh, of, uh, the game at the time that they that they had to make some um, some uh, they had to use uh, some black carts as well, but I don't know if that's true or that's um, entirely apocryphal. He is making a waifu pillowcase design. Ninja Kun, Ninja Kun's on a red card. I'm sure that's in the stack there somewhere. Um, wasn't there a Redux Tech Mobile game on Xbox Live Arcade? There was. I believe. Blades of Steel. Yeah, that was a good game. Okay, another random card. Hold on. Let me. This is a robot leg. Oh, no. Oh, well. I'm, okay, we need some more cards before we can, before we can even start thinking about robots. Uh, random again? Kinikuman. Well, you know what? I because that one has a side label, I can see it right there. Yes, I've got Kinikuman right there. Um, Kinikuman, also known as Muscle, um, in the U.S. I, my brother and I used to collect these erasers when we were. I don't know when did this game come out? Eighty. This is probably also 80, 86, 87. Yeah, early, early to mid eighties. Got any Yu Yu Hakusho stuff? I do, but not on red Famicom cards. Um, sure, we can do Kinikuman. Sure, let's do it. 
I don't think I played the, I don't think I played this game. I know I know that the video rental shop, the supermarket, had it. But I don't think I ever I don't think I ever actually rented this one. I played it once a while ago. My daughter, Anna, likes Kinikumon for some reason. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a stupid cartoon. Got a lot of fart jokes in it. That's probably why she likes it. This is Kinikuman cleaning song. Ugh. A lot of the characters wear sarongs. Ooh, nice rhyme. Proud of myself for that one. The card is kind of dingy. The sarongs are kind of skimpy. This is the muscle cleaning song. All right. Ugh. All right, fine. Bring out the big guns. While well, we're waiting, anyone else collect those little erasers? They were super big in Japan. I didn't know they were from Japan at the time. I just knew that they had cool wrestlers. In fact, at the time, I didn't know they were erasers. I thought they were just toys. I found out years later that they were actually erasers. This is... Oh, oh, Jody, well, thank you so much for stopping in. Bought out the alcohol to get the cart drunk. Yeah, that's right. That's how you fix it. You got to get the cart good and steaming drunk. I wonder if this stuff is selling out. Because this is, it's not really the kind of alcohol you'd use to, I don't know, but everything's probably selling out. There we go. As I said, there's very few carts that don't work with enough elbow grease and Q-tips. I recommend is playing Buffalo Man. He is top tier. All right. Buffalo Man versus Ramen Guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, this is this is a game. Oh, this is amazing. More wrestling games should involve hopping. Not enough wrestling games involve hopping. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up your There's I mean, you've got jump and you got punch. That is like, is like a one-button fighter. Uh oh. Wait, why am I ramen man now? Oh, he, it's a tag team game. I tagged him out. Oh, okay. Oh, I am gonna. I am gonna. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is really fun. <laughs> I'm doing really bad at it. But it's just a... Oh, I'm tagging. I'm tagging. Oh. Hey, leave me alone. Tag me in. Oh no. Shovel Knight. Don't you hop away from me like actual professional wrestling. Oh my gosh, I like this a lot. Oh, I'm going to throw you around. Oh my goodness, this is, this is so fun. It's just, it's just simplistic and silly. Uh oh No, 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 no. He's got the magic ball of not do bad. Oh. Oh, I need the magic ball of not do bad. Aha. Now I shall throw you further. 
Oh, I can throw myself off the ropes? <gasps> That's neat. I'm going to do that a lot. Ouch. How do I win? There's probably a way to pin a guy. Oh. Did I lose? Better read some comments. Sorry. Yeah, it was getting kind of distracted because this is this is amazing. There's a convention near me that happens every year. I'll be pissed if it gets canceled. Yeah, fun to watch. See, it's great yet flawed. I throw you right round, baby, right round. <laughs> Galaxy kind of going with the grand sumo at the moment without spectators is super weird. Yup. I went to uh, the Nagoya Basho many, many years ago. It was pretty awesome. Uh, he's got the magic ball of not do bad. Jump around. Get up, get up, get up, get down. <laughs> like a cartridge, baby. The balls at the top indicate health. Once you lose them all, you lose. <laughs> all right. I don't want to lose. Okay. This is going to be fine. All right. So it's not a magic ball of not do bad. It's a... No, give me that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's not. That's not me. <laughs> Ugh. All right, fine. Stupid guy and shovel knight. <laughs> I like it though. I like I I I I like it. And this one's not this one's not an expensive game. You can get this one pretty 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 easily. Oh that's nice. That's going in the permanent collection. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I got another copy of it. I'll put it up on the site later. We're the Miracle Balls. All right. Okay, uh, we going random again? Dressing up like a big boss. Dressing up like big boss in mid-July heat for a con in the South is not fun. True, true. And Satoshi said, ah! Rando, Okay. Next random card is... Oh, okay. Uh, we got the Hanano Star something, something, something. Let's give it a try. What was it? Oh, hold on. Can you read that? Can you see that? This looks amazing. Look at the hair. Yeah. I went to the Nagoya Boss Show back in... Oh, when? What year? 2003? Ah, Hana no Star Kaido. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. That's kind of suggestive. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, is it a boy band simulator? Oh, that would be great. Hold on. It's got to recalibrate or something. Just a second. You need to see this in all of its glory. Turn back on. Uh-oh. Now what did I do? Hmm. Maybe if I turn the lights off and turn them back on. Just a second. That kind of worked last time. No? Oh, maybe? No, not really. Here, let's try that again. Reminds you of the Doogie Howser theme? Hey, that looks better. That looks worse. Oh well. 
They looked good for a second. Okay, they're both 17 years old. Which is important to know. Alright. They're gonna be stars. Start. Alright. Okay, I'm controlling both of them? Okay, McDonald's. Oh, I should look at the screen, perhaps. Okay, so if one of them dies, the other dies. Koshudenwa! Midori Koshudenwa! Koshudenwa! Hyaku! What? Fine. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord let's try that again okay what a dumb game mechanic Ooh, two two koshi denwas oh by the way if you if you ever spot good lord if you ever spot public telephones in in video games if you could tell me that'd be great because i want to do a music video for the Koshu Denwa song, the lead band games of public telephones. So just just keep that in mind. Oh you oh you're a boy band, so you're like shooting photographers or wannabe bass players? That's a good idea. Oh, okay. Oh. I want the fans though, right? I want and melon and curry bread. Or maybe I want to shoot the fan well, I'll shoot that to paparazzi, of course. Hey, you get away from me, you wannabe guitar player. Let me get to the women's. Do I... Wait, do I... Oh, no, I... Oh, I shoot the women's. Tour guide. Hold on. I want that guitar, I'm sure. Guitar makes me invincible. Okay. There we go. Get away from me, purple shirt guy. We've got to go to the studio. No, you get away from me, photographer. Ooh, there's a red public tel. There's a lot of telephones in this game. <gasps> got some curry bread. All right, you bass player. Closed shop with only two shirts. Okay, a lot of a lot of koshu denwas here. Okay, get away from me, reporter. I'll shoot you with my music. I'll jump higher than. Okay. Okay. Can't I just go solo? Okay. Hold on. No. Ugh. There's some strategy involved in this jumpy, jumpy jumps. Can we both? Yeah, there we go. That helps. No. No. I gotta say, this is not. This is not the worst game I've ever played. Hey, baby. Do you want to... Oh. Kill me? Want to destroy all humans? Ugh. This level looks so much like Harajuku. Harajuku cartoon got the wicked style. I like the way that you are. I am your biggest fan. Harajuku Kartik. Okay. This game is like that weird PC engine game, Kato, Chan, and Ken Chan. A little bit, except with a lot less with a lot less pooping. Uh, there's also a specific reference to this game in the Neptunia music game. That's cool. Sorry, but I got some college work I need to do, so gotta head out to you. Hey, if your school's still open, you do that. Uh, Stoplight of Doom. Oh! The Shenmue games have a lot of Koshu Denwa. I'm specifically looking for Midori Koshu Denwa's. Wait, that level looks so much. Okay. Especially with these all the pit these pits and hipsters. Yeah, that's the thing about Harajuku. You go there and you gotta dodge all the pits. And then there's like this is amazing. So this this must have been a, a group. This must have been a, a, a group, the Kaido or whatever. I wonder. 
I should I should I should look into this. It's an action game. I hope it's I mean it's not as good as Hikaru is Hikaru Genji, which is the only um is that a copy? It's, the, uh, it's way in the back. Which is the only Famicom oh wait, wait is this one? Ah, here we go. So Hikaru Genji had a Famicom disc system game that came in a CD style case. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. And that's another boy band game. All right. But yeah, uh, not adding it to the perm. Well, maybe adding it. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> red ROM, red ROM. <laughs> All work and no games makes Vinka something something. My wife was a big fan of Hikaru Genji. Uh, I asked if she wanted that game, but she said no. You know what? I have a very similar story. <laughs> yeah, my wife liked them as, uh, as well. She wanted to, she wanted to roller skate just like them. But yeah, no, no interest at all in that game. Go crazy? Don't mind if I do. All right. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay. We've built a small Stonehenge. Excite bike. There's definitely an excite bike in there. Do you want me to find excite bike or should we just go random again? Do, 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 do. This is the cartridge choosing song. Today we are doing red ROMs. Do, 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 do. Hey. Oh, sorry. As I said, it's been a long week, so. Go oh, crazy. I mean, he is wearing. You know, I kind of forgot that I was doing the whole toilet paper thing, but I just got I got to keep the coronavirus away. It's very, very important. Play golf? No. Well, it's noon somewhere. <laughs> it opens a large beer. Random. Okay. Blindfolded Excite Bike. Random Red Rom. Random Red Rom. Random. I can't even do it two times. Hold on. Random Red Rom. 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 Yeah. Okay. Random. And random is. Excite bug. So nostalgic. This is Excite by Cleaning Song. I sure to figure it wouldn't work the first time. That doesn't rhyme. I guess it rhymed with time. Time rhymes with rhyme and rhymes wrong. All right. I think have you played Excite Trek? I have definitely played Excite Trek. One of my favorite Wii games. So good. It's, it's way better than I thought it was going to be because I just remember it from Reggie going, this game's got a big damn truck. And I'm like, that sounds dumb. But I picked it up anyway and. Great game. Oh, oh the, the nostalgia. Oh. I want to hear it again. You have played Excite Truck with me, Trey. It's a great game. I used to love this game as a kid because I wasn't good at video games, kind of like I am now. And really, all you got to do to win most levels is hold the button down. Because look, I'm going to do nothing. I'm probably still going to win this level. I used to actually tape this button down, so all I'd have to do is steer. Which kind of goes against the point of games. But like, 
you, you're not you often don't get first place, but just just by I suppose I could have steered him, but I always thought he looked like a bird flapping his arms returning to what lap am I on? Lap one. But for the most part, you don't have to do anything. Um, and that, that's what I liked about it. I, I had no idea as a kid that you that the, the, why save wasn't working. Because uh, uh, I'd, I'd got in this game as, I think, it, like a, a babysitter I had left it at our house. So I don't think I ever really owned it officially. But we had it for months on end. And I tried to make tracks and save them. And I didn't realize why it wouldn't. See, look at that. Look at that. I didn't do anything except hold the button, and I got the first place. Um, that's why I liked this game. I know you go fast with B, but then, then you got to worry about overheating. But if you just hold A, you're fine. <laughs> I heard Reggie say this game's got a big damn truck. I thought the game sounds dumb, so I picked it up anyway. Yes, I was a lot less of a discerning customer back then. But Excite Bike, everyone should have a copy of Excite Bike. I'll put this up on the screen. Everyone should have a copy of Excite Bike. Well, it's kind of impressive in its own way. All right. It excited me, bike. Oh, it me excited. It's a new Vink cord. Vink cord. Vink cord. Vink cord. Vink cord. Anyway. <coughs> Don't forget to bike and subscribe. Nice. How's Excite Bike? How's Excite Bots, though? It is interesting because it has things like Super Sandwich. And the, I just, I, I think the robot. Things are just not as cool as the trucks, but it's a it's it's a good game. I should have liked it more, but like it was just kind of more of the same after Excite Excite Truck. I was so excited for Excite Bots when it came out, but I don't know. I I bought it and I didn't play it nearly as much as I played Excite Truck. I don't know why. Do, do, do. It's a new Vink record. Ah, very much so. Okay, random cart. Ooh, what's this? Kujaku? I don't know. I don't know. It's based off a jump comic, though. Anyone know what this is? Excite Box is good. Excite Truck is better because it's more dumb. Ah. Uh, let's see, I think it wasn't exciting. Ooh, I don't think it's like bots got released in Europe. It didn't, and it didn't get released in uh, Japan either, except as a Nintendo Power Club exclusive thing. Excite card. It's a Famicom game. Oh, Excite, Excite, Excite Truck? I uh, know. Excite Truck is a Wii game. It's very exciting. And back in the days of NeoGAF, it was kind of a meme because, um, because I think a lot of people thought the other people who were saying Excite Truck was actually really good were just um, being ironic or... Or something like that, but but it actually was really good, and people would just use the word excite by itself to indicate good. What is the code for that cartridge? It is uh, PNF KZ. PNF KZ. Ah, yeah, and then you've got that first is that, but then uh, underneath it's PNFKZ. Spirit Warrior. Oh, the Famicom cart I held in my hand. Oh. I'm sorry, I got so carried away with uh, 
all this excitement. Do I have Budai Fighter? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, somewhere. I think it's in my permanent collection. Yes, but I do. Uh, not this one. Yeah, it's, it's back there somewhere. It's in, it's in the permanent collection. Anyway, let's try it. Concho, switch on. It's a little joke. A little joke. All right, fine. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, let's do this. Oops, I think I missed an easy mode. What? Can't skip this? This is an unskippable cutscene? Really? Really? Oh, whatever. New game. Okay, here we go. Ooh, nice music. Oh, you can't see that. Hold on. Move it around until it works. For some reason, it pops in just before my hand. That's weird. Look at that. You see what I'm saying? It, like, goes into focus just for a moment. Okay, as long as I keep my hand moving like this, it'll be in focus. That's weird. Time for a capture card? Yeah. Yeah, when I get some money. Oh well. Maybe, oh, I bet if I turn the, the light from my monitor down. No. No, that doesn't really do it. Hold on, let's try the light trick again. Eh, not really. Well, oh well. Let's just play. Time for a oh, it's so time for a capture card. Oh my goodness. But then you wouldn't be able to see all the junk in the background. All right. <clears throat> let me let me beat some guys up. Come on. Music's not bad. Oh, it's an adventure game. Of course, it's an adventure game. Let's me do something. Ugh. Let's Toru something. Hanasu. I'll talk to no one. Oh, uh, no, 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 not tonight. Try having the camera at more of an angle. Yeah, I could try. So that's that. All right, you're part of the robot now. We are all part of the robot now. Oh, like a squid type robot. Not bad. Ah, his guts flew up. Oh, oh, fine, whatever. 
robot. <laughs> Reduce the brightness on the screen. Yeah, that might work. That might work. Okay. Uh, oh, Lord. Our next random card is Anpanman. Anpanman. Da, 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 da. Ugh. So, Anpanman is a magical hero made of sweet bean paste bread who helps the who helps the poor children who are hungry by letting them eat parts of his head yep he will take off his head or bits of his face and uh, feed himself to hungry children to save the day oh he'll also punch people he does light punch very well the, the I had on Panman explained to me when I first came to Japan by a drunken salary man who explained him to me he said Anpanman is hero Anpanman will uh children very hungry Anpanman says here eat my face from there yep do, 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 doesn't that Ampaman game come with a book or something? It might have. I only have the loose card. And some kid had put poop stickers over it. See? Look at that. There's little little poop. Little poop stickers. Someone thought that was super funny to put poop stickers. So. All right. Let's try. Oh. I don't need to turn on the brightness. That looks okay. Let's, let's try turning down the brightness, though. Backlit. that help? Is that better or worse? I think it's better. Yeah? Yeah, that's better. El Gamer Astral. Hello, welcome. Welcome. Nice to see you. Okay, that's Bikey Mod. That's curry pan man. Is that curry? Maybe that's not curry pan man. I don't know. That's jam oji chan or oji san, the old jam guy. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna be am pan man. I should be shok pan man. Alright, let's do this. What kind of game is this? Oh no, is it a board game? Well, I got a Dokin Chan. What does that do? Am I Biking Mom? No, I'm not. I'm playing against Biking Mom, I think. Okay, well, it's a pretty extensive board. Alright. Okay, let's do this. Let's. Let's. Ooh, I got a Dokin Chan too. Uh-oh. Rock, paper, scissors battle. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh. Oh, I'm going to do... I'm going to do... I'm going to do paper. That's a bold move. Let's see if it pays off. Ooh. Okay. Okay. We got to draw. Okay. John can... What do you think, guys? Scissors? Rock? What am I doing? What am I doing? Imagine having the extraordinary ability to fly, but people only know you because you have an edible face. It's kind of the story of my life. All right. What are we doing? Very Zelda-like. <laughs> All right. What should I throw? Should I throw scissors? Paper. Okay. I'm doing paper. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Tie. Okay. 
Okay, I see scissors now. I see scissors. Okay. Okay. Ooh, still a tie. Okay. To toilet paper. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh no! Toilet paper beat rock and scissors and paper. <laughs> Oh, you stupid, stupid, handsome man. All right. Oh, no, I got to start again. All right. This time I'm going to, this time I'm going to choose better. I'm going to be, I'm going to be Shokpanmon this time. Toilet paper beats Famicom. <laughs> Toilet paper broke the game. <laughs> All right. Okay, this will be fine. All right. Go on with paper. Oh, I was cut. You cut me, man. Rock, paper, scissors battles will always remind me of uh, Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. What the heck? Bikemon, get your butt back here. All right. Don't give me that Dokin Chan crap. Give me my spaces. Four. Wait. What? Bikemon gets to go again? This game is rigged. Come on, Shokpanmon. It's time. Four. Let's catch up to that loser. Oh, he's already got 300 points. Screw this. This game is rigged. Is it a board game? Yeah, it's a board game. Cut man. Hopefully, Ampanman won't get coronavirus. Well, if he keeps letting people eat his face. Anyway, that the dog's name is Cheese, by the way. Dog's name is Cheese. Robot. For toilet paper name. No, no, we've we've seen the we've seen the terrible defensive and destructive power of toilet paper tonight. Let's not tempt fate. Random. Ah, do we want to play this? Yeah. Okay, it's um it's Captain Tsubasa. It's a soccer turn-based game. Do we want to see this? I hear this was really big in Europe. But, like, none of these games ever came to the uh, U.S., so I have no nostalgia for the series. Sim? Yeah, I guess it could be. Yeah, soccer sim, I guess. It's got. It's kind of famous for having, it, having its... Um, there, there, there's, there's a new one coming out on Switch and PS4 uh, later this year, and it's actually going to get localized uh, in English and a bunch of other languages. I love the Captain Suvasa Famicom games. Did, did, did uh, where, where are you, where are you from, Adi? Except for also being referenced in Neptunia. Yeah. Okay, let's play it. Then we can add it to the robot. Never heard of it. Oh. I mean, they were Tecmo soccer RPGs. I know they came out in other in, in some European countries, but I don't know which ones. Time for some alcohol. And then I'll clean the carts. Ho ho jokes. Minnesota Proud. Okay. Ah, Minnesotans. Vikings fan? Okay, my aunt lives in my aunt lives in Minneapolis. I would I, I I quite like the Twin Cities. Quite like the Twin Cities. Walker Art Gallery was my jam.
they're soccer games without any action. Yeah, but they look <laughs> like real soccer then. Yeah. I used to watch soccer, but I haven't watched it in years. I probably missed like three goals by now. Is joke. Okay. Tecmo Theater. Theater of the mind, of the heart, of the soul, of the overly dramatic soccer cutscenes. Uh, I don't know if the adjusting the brightness did much. I think maybe it's a little better. But yeah, it's it's a soccer sim. Like you, 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 you choose, and you, you watch how these things play out. Uh. Let's go! Uh, yeah, there's this is high drama. High drama. Better? Worse? I feel it's not making much difference either way. Okay. Eh, maybe that helped a little bit. I don't know. Got some errands to run. Thanks for the stream. Thank you very much, wreck it Rands. Thanks for stopping by. But yeah, it, you make decisions and you watch how things play out. So like you can you can walk the ball and you you don't have tremendous control over it but okay shall I shoot oh. and shoot oh blocked but I don't know I I love the visual style I I love I love that on Famicom it really does look very you know anime you know like sports anime. Well, I guess that's what it was based off of, but I like it. I like it. The problem is the ambient lighting. I think you're right. I think you're right. I do have a remote control for these lights somewhere. I'll try to bring them down sometime. But anyway. Yep. Ooh, you shall be the head of my robot. All right. I am not doing well with robot construction today. Well, as that old saying goes, if you want to make a robot, you got to use blue carts. You know, as my grandma used to say to me. All right. Ah, uh, all right, what's next? Oh, ooh, ooh, it's a giant monster game. John John by Data East, part of the Deco system. Oh my goodness, it looks like a chicken. Look at that. This is going to be great. This is going to be wonderful. Fight bird. <laughs> that is not the name. All right. Uh, let's give it a go. Yay. Mm. 
de bras. Is de bras the name of the chicken? Exterminate. No, that's Davros. I like early Doctor Who, how Davros is... They kept using the same costume, but like years later, so it was like just slowly like molding and deteriorating, which made him look somehow more evil. Dalek bird, yes, excite, excite bird. <laughs> Caw! Look at that! Look at that! Why, hello, hello. Okay. Are people panic buying KFC in Japan? Not more than they normally panic buy KFC in Japan. KFC is ridiculously popular. Ugh. Come on, fight bird. Hey! Ooh, that was digitized sound for a second. Hold on, let's try that again. Tiny bit of chickens have no teeth. All right, Data East. There was a meteor from the sky. In 1990X, the giant chicken bird came. Its teeth were massive. I shall shoot it with my gunnator. I speak with a wiggling cigarette in my mouth. All right. This just in. Giant chicken bird. Oh, no. My cigarette went limp. All right. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, boy. It's another board game. All right, go five spaces, two, four, five. All right, kind of a board game, but kind of, what? Take that one. I guess I'm making battle flight plans. Oh, I'm positioning troops before the before Davros comes. Are you a hoverboat? Nope. All right, you just hang out there. Okay, cigarette wiggle, you just wait. Oh, I don't want to move every unit, but I'm gonna. Is that everything? Okay, armory is empty. This armory still has this globular ship. I don't know if putting them there is a good idea. All right, monster is gonna attack me. Whoa, wow. I had a Gamera game on Super Famicom that was just like this, yeah. What, who's who's your favorite Davros actor? Um, probably like Peter Davidson era. I mean, the the original Davros episode. Uh, what is it? 
Resurrection, not Resurrection of the Daleks. That was Davidson. What was the Tom Baker era? Uh, Genesis of the Daleks is probably everyone's favorite, but it's not the first one I saw. The first one I saw was Resurrection of the Daleks. And then I think I saw Remembrance of the Daleks after that. That's uh, Sylvester McCoy. That was pretty good, too. I don't know. One. Yeah, I'm done with this. But, but, no. Nah, yeah. Kind of fun. More like boring game. <laughs> Ever played the Jetman game on the Famicom? Uh, which one? Show me the birds. I know there should be more. There should be more birds going on. Oh, fine. Hey, we've gotten through a fair number of games today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. You guys up for one or two more, or are you getting tired? Where's my drink? Gonna drink some water. Gonna drink. Some water. I mean, I'm fully awake. Rockman 2. I, I still don't have Rockman 2, but perhaps if people ask for it a bit more, I will suddenly have it. <laughs> Random. Okay. No. Oh, here we go. There we go. Ninja Kun. Let's play a little of that. Wow, we've had a lot of Jalco games today, haven't we? Oh, I guess Sun Sun wasn't a Jalco game. It felt like a Jalco game for some reason. This is the Jalco cleaning song. Dun, 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 dun. The, the, the cartridge cleaning song is the Moero Pro Baseball song, isn't it? Hold on, hold on. Oh no, did I crib the cartridge cleaning song from Moero? I'm a little concerned now. I mean, I knew it wasn't an original song that I made, but I didn't realize that the rhythm of it came from. Ah, no, that's different. That's different. No, that's not the cartridge cleaning song. Who am I kidding? What am I, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? All right. Phew. All the Ninja Kun games for Family Cam, but now for Switch. Yeah. Yeah, there is that, that collection. And that collection has English on it, too, which is interesting because some of the games never had English translations. So. You say you want a revelation. This is the ninja cleaning song. Ninjas rarely wear sarongs. Now, now, gotta work. Katana, old smoky. Okay. Just let that rest for a while. Put this moero next to this moero. I wonder who owns the rights to Jalco's library right now. Is it? Do, do, do. 
I know Data East is owned by like some like holding company. And of course, Konami's got Hudson. Square has Taito. Which doesn't feel right to me. <sighs> Maybe SNK? No, I don't think so. I don't think... SNK barely owns themselves, and I, actually, I don't think they do. I think, like, some Chinese company has, a, like, a, a, a large stake in SNK. SNK is doing okay. I guess Samurai, Sh Sh Samurai Shodan did well enough. But SNK has had rough years. They've gone up business a few times. Hey, Buttermilk, welcome. <laughs> I am not having success with this cartridge right now. You know what? We'll save that for stream part two. Let's do something else. Okay. Oh. Am I thinking that this is the Adventures of Dino Ricky? Uh, the the English title of this? Let's see. It's uh, Jinmon... Jinmon Rui? Jinmon Rui? I don't know, but I think this might be The Adventures of Dino Ricky, which I remember as being a very hard game. They got nice arcade and console games. Oh, I love me some SNK. I love SNK, but yeah. But, you know, they used to put out so many games every year, and now it's about one game a year and some smartphone junk. It is Dino Ricky. Oh, okay. I remember renting this as a kid and not getting far in it. I remember it being really hard. Almost. We're getting there, guys. I spoke too soon, didn't I? I don't remember if Dino Ricky was a good game or just a hard game. It might have been both. But I remember... I probably played it when I was 8 or 9, but I remember it being really hard. And I don't think I ever got past the first level. Ah. Oh, almost. The new type. That means something else in vernacular right now. All right, let's do this. Yep, caveman-based shooter. Well, I remember this. I remember this first level because I don't think I ever beat it. So I played it lots of times. Okay, this, I think this might be a good game. Just very hard. Okay. Oh, you can take more than one hit. Okay. Okay, that's boots. That speeds up. Okay, that's extra power. Okay. I must avenge. Okay, you can take two hits. Hearts? That's why it was hard, because there's jumping involved. That was why, because shooters are shooters, but that's why, because there was jumping involved. Oh. 
Oh. Whoops. Water is to dead. Okay, let's try that again. The enemies look so sad. Okay. Okay, flowers are important. If we've learned nothing else today, it's that flowers are important. Ah! Okay. I think crystals are just points. Heart, heart, ah! Oh! Too late or early. Oh, jumping fish. Boots. Okay. No, no, no. no. Oh, everything is too dead. Okay. <laughs> uh. Nope, I'm no better as an adult. I still can't beat the first level of the stupid game. Again, I don't think the game is stupid. I think it's just <sighs> too hard. It's lagging again? Oh, I'm sorry. Is it still lagging, guys? Okay. The game is cute as this it should not be this hard. One, two. Oh, I beat the first part of the stage. You just taking pity on me there. Okay, and this is where I die. Okay, so I gotta start my jump from here. Aha! Aha! Oh! Oh! All right. Screw you, game. Uh, 30 years later, just... You're getting sold. Because I'm sure... Because, like... A a person very good at video games probably enjoy that one very much. The controls are very nice. Uh, there's some cool power-ups. The music's not bad. The graphics are good. It's just too hard for people who are terrible at video games. All right, next game is... Nope. Pick a game I want to play? Oh! That's a novel idea. I want to play Mighty Final Fight. Because it's really fun. Oh, Donkey Kong? I could play Donkey Kong, but I play a lot of Donkey Kong. Join Discord, Famicom Jojo, on voice chat. Rebroadcast. Oh, really? I want to play Mighty Final Fight because my whoa because Mighty Final Fight is when Capcom started doing their own games. And it looks it's a really nice looking and playing game, which I ignored when it came out in the United States because I had already moved on 
to the Super Famicom by then, and I was like, who'd want to play a Famicom game now? But it is definitely its own thing. It's not it's not just like a cheap like downport of Final Fight. It it's its own thing. And I think it's much better for, for not trying to just be Does that look? That looks okay. All right. So you got three characters to choose from here, which is more than Final Fight, actually. All right. So yeah, it it has kind of a it looks very double dragony, but plays really well. Not the Double Dragon doesn't play well, uh, but it's 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 its own thing. It's, it's it's cartoony, but like it's it plays really well. It's fun. It's colorful. It's a very nice looking uh, Famicom game that I totally overlooked when it when it came out because I was too busy think thinking that. But I mean, back then. That's the thing. I just got a Super Nintendo, so I wanted to games that took advantage of the Super Nintendo, like that Final Fight. But um, and that Final Fight game is fantastic as well. But this is the one that's worth a lot of money these days. Pretty wide variety of moves for a two button game. Good music. Movie now open. My favorite film as well, movie. Oh, see? There's your Donkey Kong. You want a Donkey Kong? You got your Donkey Kong. I suppose I could just go over here where the barrels aren't. Ah, there's that movie I've been hearing so much about. Slam you. <sighs> Ouch. But again, just a just a fun little different type of game. Is used in oh yeah. music is commonly found in modern day bootleg multi card menus. That's cool. The gradient sky is such a Famicom aesthetic. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I love movie. Movie the movie. 
Hi, uh, what game is this? Uh, I'm playing uh, Mighty Final Fight right now. I like Liberty too. I wonder if the movie is the Vink Golf movie. Oh my goodness. Automatic disassemble. Repetitive. Disassemble. Dead. No disassemble. Such a big marketing push for movie. Hope it does well. <laughs> Movie's been not doing so well lately. Movie the movie sounds like a Mr. Show skit. Mr. Show. No, Mr. Show was coupon the movie. Movie 2 really jumped the shark. Yes, yes, yes. Movie 2, shark jump. How Capcom will make movie, like how Sa Sega made Chow in Space 2. Is this guy's name really? Uh, it's getting harder to find. It's a, it's a very late uh, Famicom game, 93. Uh, but um, worth picking up. Worth picking up. I, I enjoy it a lot. What's your favorite red card games? I love the Donkey Kong games. Uh, Mighty Final Fight is one of my is one of my faves. Um, I don't have a Rockman two right now, but I like Rockman two a lot. Um, yeah. Gosh, what other red carts do I like? I don't know. A lot. Not the Ampon Man game. Not not a. Not a this, you know, this is permanent collection. I'm putting that back. I don't want to accidentally sell that. I hate it when I accidentally sell something that I don't have a duplicate of. <sighs> What's your favorite? Okay. People keep discord, discording me. Join voice chat as rebroadcast. No. Not right now. I am going to Donald. I don't have Donald Land. I don't have Donald Land. That's a McDonald's game. Oh, okay, let's take maybe one more. One more. Okay. All right. Summer Sweetheart. Yeah, we should get back to that sometime. But it was so terrible. The translation was so bad. <sighs> lot, lot? Lot, lot. Aces loaded will end coronavirus. Definitely. That's a good point. That's a good point. I should put one in my headband to protect me from coronavirus. That's what I've got. To, that's the rumor I've got to start. The copies of... <laughs> Moero Pro Yaku will end coronavirus. This is a good idea. All right. Let's try Lot Lot. I don't actually know how to play it. I tried it once, and it seemed to be kind of like a puzzle game. I couldn't really figure it out, so I gave up. But maybe we can figure it out today. Let's try. Let's clean it first. Bases loaded is cheaper and more common than toilet paper. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. I bet I could find in my town copies of bases loaded more easily than toilet paper. Bases not loaded. When you're loaded... Moero Pro, lot lot, sun sun, lot lot, yeah, lot of a, uh, lot of a, uh, 
cartridges repeated themselves. Okay, here we go. Lot, lot. Door, door. Bear, bear. Okay, so... Again, I think it's a puzzle game of some sort. Like, I know I'm supposed to move those balls around. Okay, pressing button makes makes to drop. Okay, I am I am this mushroom. If I hit it, it jumps to some place. Just don't know how to play it. Anyone, anyone have this game? Do you know how to play it? supposed to bring those down. Oh, I have no idea how to play. Anyone? Uh, golf, golf. I also went on eBay when you try looking for Famicom. Really get this game. As, yeah, we need to try to type a lot. A lot. Yeah, yeah. Guess you need to fill all the rectangles with tapioca pudding or flan balls. That's it. All right. I'm your biggest flan. Uh oh, crabs. There's crabs there. I got crabs. Uh, out? Did I win? No. I did not win. Well, lot, lot, I shall figure you out another day. Uh, scale of 1 to game 10, is this game the best? It is not. Okay, um, I think, <laughs> thanks, Scott Krabs, yes. No, I don't, for I have my virus-protecting Muero Pro baseball headband, because this will keep me safe. This is a very strange stream tonight. Uh, what's your upcoming project on YouTube channel Famicom Dojo? Well, I think the next thing will be one of the videos Sean's been working on. Uh, he's finishing up some stuff right now. Um, I have another Sarah Plays um, that's almost done. Um, what else? I have an unboxing that I would like to do. Um, so, uh, one of those is, uh, there's, there's some stuff in progress right now. I'm not sure what we're going to get done right away. It's hard for me to film right now as my kids are home every day. I was going to film some stuff, uh, to help, uh, Sean finish a strong bad video. Uh, but we, I haven't been able to get around to it just due to, uh, my kids being home all the time and making a ton of noise. Uh, but when they get back to school, I should be able to film some stuff. Sean and I have another podcast coming out um, this week that we recorded about two weeks ago. Um, that sh that's coming out. With luck, we'll record another one, maybe with some kid noises in the background, but we might be recording another one on Monday. Um, so, so that's all going on. Um, Next Monday, I have to go to the embassy to get my passport renewed. It's a lot of paperwork, a lot of money, but I don't know. If things get absolutely terrible here and we have to escape to America, it would be good to make sure my passport's up to date. But really, America's <laughs> it's a, just as bad. So, yep. My streams are always fantastic. Well, thank you. 
Does your country have coronavirus? Well, my country of origin, the United States, yes. And my current country I live in, Japan, yes. So, yep. But I'll be fine because I've got my toilet paper and I've got my germ-resistant copy of Moero Pro Yaku. Just need to secure it somehow to my head and wear it to work. Because I think this will prevent the coronavirus because people will stay away from me if I'm wearing this as a headband. No one will come anywhere near me. So I won't get the virus. It'll be great. The flights are probably cheap. Oh, yeah. Mess right now. Yep. Japan's a mess right now. Mess, 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 mess. No Brand Con is still going forward. Uh, when is No Brand Con scheduled for? Uh, escape to Donald Land where there is no coronavirus. That's true. Donald Land has not been hit by coronavirus yet. Hey, Vink, if it can work out, I'd like to join you for a podcast sometime in the future talk about Remix. Oh, yeah, I saw your uh, thing on the Discord. April 7th. Oof. Good luck. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, just make sure, make sure if it does have to cancel, you able to get refunds to everyone and hopefully you don't hopefully you don't because that would that would that would that would be terrible because longest running convention don't want to ruin that record a lot of cobwebs and tumbleweeds and tunnel land all right i'm gonna put up the uh link to i'm gonna put up the link to my web store again again don't feel pressure to to buy something but uh if you're if you're thinking of buying some carts anyway and uh and uh, uh, you'd like to, uh, the support really does help. Again, uh, uh, I just appreciate you guys just just for just for coming uh, and talking with me. Uh, this is this is always great. This is always great. I really I really just love talking with you guys and uh, playing some games poorly, <laughs> uh, but it's fun. It's fun. Thank you for being awesome. Well, thank you very much. I'll buy from your site in the near future. Thank you very much. If you it, again, if you can, if you can swing it right now, take care of everyone. Please take care of your own families and uh, and loved ones um, first. And if there's something left over to to buy some games for yourself, that would thank you. That would be great. But but take care of yourselves first. Would you sign my purchase if I find something? I guess that would probably devalue it a lot. I could sign a, I could sign a piece of paper and put it in with the games with you. I could. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll sign you a Snorlax. Just remind me. Just remind me. Hope this whole convent thing goes away soon and you go back to work. Well, I'm working. I'm still working right now. For now. For now. But like, I'm doing paperwork and stuff right now. But like. A lot of the main things I, I do with my job are kind of on hold right now. And if we go into like an emergency mode, uh, then work might shut down altogether. So, but yeah, hope I hope things uh, hope things go better. I'm I'm a little worried that when they actually get testing kits here in Japan, enough of them, we're gonna find out that it's much worse than we think it is. Hopefully not, but that's that's a possibility. You could sign the toilet paper roll. Immense value. Oh wow! I don't know. Though. Toilet paper is so so precious, so precious. Sign my headband. Someone can have my headband if they want. Customs would probably confiscate that. It's a biohazard. But yeah, hopefully, th hopefully things are gonna are gonna are gonna start swinging to a positive way right now. So, the worst case scenario, you can play golf all day. I mean, there's probably worse scenarios than that, but uh, I'd get pretty good at it. I'd get pretty good at it. The Vink Band. But anyway, uh, thank you all so much for joining me today. Um, we're mostly done with red carts because half of them turned out to be this baseball game. Um, but we'll maybe finish up red next time and... Uh, black carts will take a long time. Maybe green. Maybe green next. 
I mean, like, like half of Famicom games are on black cards. Oh, you know. <laughs> That's true. There's a Moya on a black card, too. Half golf, half summer sweetheart. Oh, you... You see that that's why you guys tune in. You just you guys just want to torture me. That's that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. You probably could have convinced me to play all of these copies of Moyoro Pro uh Yaku, but but uh luckily Trey took pity on me tonight. It's nice hanging out with you folks tonight. Oh, yeah. Yes. I I always enjoy it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um I'll see if I'll see if in the future I can get on a little bit earlier. I know it's really late or and or noon <laughs> for you guys, but I'll I'll see what I can do. Licorice stream in the future. I am so out of I am out of licorice. Licorice. There's there's no there's no licorice in Japan. But this was a crisis long before the virus. It's just black licorice just does not exist in this country. You cannot get it. And that makes me extremely sad. 6 p.m. here. Yeah, everybody's everybody's in different places. But regardless of where you are, I just I really appreciate you guys tuning in so much. So much cheese. I am almost out of cheese. I need to go to Costco. I need to get some cheese, but it's just I haven't had time. Or money. Whiskey for the cartridges. Whiskey for the car whiskey for the cartridges. Yeah, that's a good way to clean them. Alcohol, right? Yeah. Although due to the coronavirus, try to buy them less. Try to buy them less. Try to buy them less. Costco vlog. Ooh. Costco is a Costco is a wonderful land of cheese in Japan. I'm sure they sell other things there too, but I go for the cheese. And the the Inexpensive hot dogs. All right, that's probably a good place to end. <laughs> um, thank you guys. Uh, if if you guys are not in on the Discord already, uh, that's a good place um, to be. It's pretty nice. We play a screenshot guessing game. That's a lot of fun. Ooh, we should play the chiptune guessing game again. That was really fun. We should do that again sometime. Uh, might be interesting video vlogging in a store due to the coronavirus. Yeah, but I might get punched in the face. Not in Japan. Japan's pretty. Japan's pretty nice, but I might get bowed at. Um, yeah. We're evolving into saying single. We're evolving into just saying single syllable words. Yep. 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 Cheese Meister has just dot dot dotted me like a JRPG NPC. All right. Yeah, that's that's pause. Chip tune games. Well, what I did was we played we played we played a we played a game once on the stream where I would just uh, play not just chip tunes but like music from video games and people would without seeing the titles try to guess what the music was. It was pretty fun. It was I I had I had a good time. Um, maybe we'll do that again sometime. Maybe I'll even have a prize. Ooh, I should and a whiteboard. I need a whiteboard so I can keep track of the score because I was just kind of jotting it down. Yeah, we'll do that. That would be fun. We did that what? Three months ago, something like that. Two months ago, I don't know. Time is time is an illusion. Lunchtime doubly so. Anyway, uh, that's all for that's all for tonight. Uh, please. Uh, excite truck and subscribe. No, that's not, no, that's not how that goes. If you don't have the little bell turned on on on, uh, if you, if you're subscribed to me, uh, turn the bell on so you don't miss the streams because I often don't have time to promote them uh, much before uh, before I come on. So, um, and that's all for today. Thank you so much. And I will catch you probably uh, next week. That's my plan. So same time, same Vink time, same Vink station. Turn on that bell. Good night. Oh, and read apricot cookies, everybody.
apricot cookies. Search for apricot cookies. The first thing you're going to get is a recipe for apricot cookies. But after that, there's going to be a webcomic. You'll thank me later. Okay. Bye-bye. That's the awkward time where I've got to hit the confirm button.